Okay, I've got to go. We've got some breaking news here, but thank you for talking to us. Uh, We're just getting some details in about the Yardley MP John Hemming's office being occupied by protesters. We believe it's in connection with rising tuition fees. Let's talk to John now. What's happening, John? Well, uh, somebody's shut down my office. Go on. Well, basically, um, people contact me some... What do you mean somebody's... Some students. But I, I thought you had an agreement with the students that if they wanted to come and make an appointment and see you or occupy the office, they were more than welcome to. Well, I, I, had, I had an appointment with some students and met up with them and talked to them, and I'd be happy to meet them at any stage that's sensible. Um, but to shut down my office, for instance, somebody just contacted me who's getting no money, no benefits at all. They are destitute. And we can't do anything to solve this problem because some students have shut down my office. So what do you intend to do, John? Well, the police, I believe, are there, and we're invited the police in to have a cup of tea. Um, but really, they should go and let my office get on with its work. I've got one of the protesters on the line, Adam O'Connell. Hello, Adam. Hi. What's going on? Uh, basically, we want to... We want to. We just wanted to give John a little visit to make sure he votes against the rise in tuition fees this Wednesday, this Thursday, which he has promised to do. You're a university student, are you? Yep. Which university? University of Birmingham. Okay. Uh, don't they have any lectures on today? Sorry. Don't they have any lectures on today? Well, I have a sem- I have a seminar that I'm missing, but that's it. <laughs> but there are lectures today, yes. Okay. So, what is it you want John Hemming to do? Uh, to vote against the rising tuition fees, as he promised. Is this the way to do it, John? It's completely the wrong way to do it. For instance, somebody has been arrested in Saudi Arabia. We are trying to find out as what has happened to their case. You are preventing us from doing anything. Adam? Well, I'm not preventing you from doing anything. I mean, the office door you are. The is office technically is shut. open. No, it's not shut. Well, you can't work on confidential information with you hanging around in the we, office. John, John, we've been met, we've been letting members of the public in. We've just got a banner outside. Yes, but you can't have really inside. confidential things going in in the office if you're occupying the office. Sorry? You shouldn't be in the office. Why should we not be in the office? Because you have no permission to be there, and you're preventing destitute people having problems solved for them. No, we're not. Come along. Yes, you are. Come along. Come along and talk to us. I'm on a train going to London. If you had any intelligence, you'd know that members of Parliament have to go to Parliament. Parliament is in London, not in Birmingham. Yes, but MPs don't have to go every day. They have to go Monday to Thursday. And as usual, I've gone to London. I can't come and see you in the office. You are fools to be there, and you are preventing my office from working properly. Right, will you be using your flat in Covent Garden? You can come and protest outside there, that's no problem. Just don't stop my office working. You are hurting vulnerable people. There are people without money who we can't get the money for because you're hanging around. I disagree. Adam, Adam, have you not... Adam, have you not made your point now? Um, well, I'm not convinced, honestly, with his attitude. Yes, but one can only ask. You can't, you know, you weren't elected to go into Parliament and vote. He'll, he'll do that. You've spoken to him on the air. Uh, is there anything more that can be done? Um, well, we just want him to vote against the rising tuition fees. Yes. As he promised. Well, you've told him that now, haven't you? Well, I, I'd like to hear some feedback on that and not some kind of emotional blackmail when we're not even preventing people entering or leaving the premises. Yes, but you're preventing the work being done. No, we're not preventing work being done. You are preventing the work being done because you're hanging around in the office. Well, there's only about three, three people in the office and there's five Well, if they outside. leave the office and protest outside, then there's well, no problem. Can, you can stay well, there all day. Well, that can be arranged. Well, good, do it then. Well... No problem. Move them out of the office. But could you answer my question about tuition fees, please? Move them out of the office. I'm not accepting this sort of behaviour. John Hemming, Adam O'Connell, thank you very much. Thank you.